Hello everyone. So I've been working on my attachment mm -hmm. issues, right? And the there was a massive hailstorm here earlier. I posted the pictures. And the whole time that it was happening, all I could think was my garden is getting smashed to smithereens and there's nothing I can do about it because if I go out there, I'm going to get like knocked unconscious. There's, there was no, there was no possible way, <sighs> there was no possible way that I could have gotten out here and protected nine boxes um so we're gonna do an inventory and it's pretty gruesome i'm not gonna lie so if you are a vegetarian or a vegan i suggest you avert your eyes oh did you bunker yourself can you say hi hi say hi hi so if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, this might be traumatic for you. So I just want to let you know that you might need to avert your eyes. Okay, let's see here. So this, these are all grape leaves. All of this is just grape leaves that got ripped off. This is an eggplant that apparently I got some bugs. But this nasturtium plant, it's just been smashed, smashed. Okay, don't judge me for my weeding. Yep, these leaves, like this flower, look at the flower. It totally got like ripped off so it's time for me to come through and really finish all of that and in here too okay so here's the tomatoes which I just took a tomato caging class last week and I was working on caging all of my tomatoes up and look they just like they're smashed Just smashed. And then the saddest part of all, Leo may put this pumpkin plant as three seeds in his, um, his science project at school right before school got out. So it was like, like not very big, like the size of a cup. And these leaves were totally filled in and they just got completely and totally thrashed and the nasturtium over here which how am I gonna explain that to my nine-year-old that I was standing right there watching it happen and didn't do anything about it because I couldn't because if I would have come out here I would have died <laughs> Like, here's these plants. The tomatillo seems to have upheld it. But, like, there's still, like, branches of it. And, like, the cage needs to be, like, fixed again. And some of these. So, so what I'm trying to say is that when you start to release something, especially big somethings, some things that recur over, and over sometimes the universe sends you really 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 big and a butterfly flew by literally as I was talking about the universe so you know that it's factual um there's another one they're gonna mate it's gonna be great um <laughs> but so it just really teaches you that when you're trying to, hi husband, <laughs> that when you're trying to release something, you're going to get what you feel like are tests 
and it's really just more of a confirmation of your commitment because I didn't like come on here live after I've like recovered I did a single inventory with Alex and then waited for him to be able to go play and then just did one with you and I wasn't crying I didn't like I sent a picture to Ryan and that was it and like oh no yeah Col April they smashed it it got smashed here we'll do another we'll do another rotation while for more people that come on so you know it's fine this pl this box and the tomato box this one's those ones are actually probably not so bad because I didn't weed very well <laughs> but the tomatoes got smashed and bent over snapped leaves another butterfly another butterfly hello just reaffirming the fact that it is the universe for me at least but this is the worst one so this is Leo's science project from school like look just well these ones fell off but this one look this was all the way filled in huge big yesterday when I um, came out here all of these were huge and big and they're just smashed and totally broken so how yeah it's super sad especially because that's like that was his science project from school like he put seeds into a cup and on right before school ended we put it in the ground so it was like this big like super small when we put it in and now it got this big and now it's just like totally completely smashed so trying to like next level attachments right so instead of just dealing with my attachments because for the most part like I don't know how my tomatoes are gonna hold up or anything like that but like I didn't really freak out but he I don't know he's got he's got more of the issues with that right now and that's that's my lesson for you for the day all my lesson for everyone is that once you fix something in yourself you're gonna probably start to get more and more um, situations in your life in which you're called to help other people with that same issue because you're always growing and the people who were with you when you grew are going to be inspired on a soul level to grow as well and it's just how it works with everything whether it be that you spark their creative genius whether it be that you allow them to um, let go of their victimhood mentality whether you help them with their money story whatever it is that you do you're still always going to be serving a, a, a previous version of you and from in my case it's my kids right so they've now seen me transform but it's time to especially Leo because Alex and Zena are so little they're easier to to turn especially once we turn Leo <laughs> um, and just really that mindfulness factor um, in my in my gratitude the gratitude in June week three we are talking about mindfulness and how that helps us be grateful so I can be sincerely grateful for this opportunity for my garden to be smashed to smithereens so I can teach my 10 year old about letting go of attachments and it being okay and that it's it's a plant and we have other food and all these other things and it's really hard to deal with just like last week with the cat like I find it interesting that near the the Samhain which oh, is the Halloween yeah. time oh I see it but that we we celebrate the the animals and the plants and the humans and it just seems like right now in my life I'm having that test of like I let go of my cat now I have to let go of my garden that I spent a substantial about of money on this year and um, we have to literally just wait and see what survives at this point and teaching my son about it and my grandfather who is 92 almost 93 has been in the hospital and just all these things that are like okay this is just life cycles this is just what happens let it go when I know this time last year three years ago five years ago I would have been incomprehensible we just like devastated and just bawling and not just bawling but like I if Facebook live was five years ago I probably a wouldn't have been live but I would have like recorded me crying about how sad it was 
And um, I did so sarcastically on my Instagram earlier. It was me processing it. But it's okay. It's just plants, right, guys? So that's my lesson for you. Just remember that you're always going to serve another version of yourself. That you're always learning. You're always growing. And that when you decide to release something, it might come back in bigger and bigger ways. So that you know that, okay, I have released it. This is a confirmation. It's not another test. Oh, my God, another test. Oh, my God, didn't I already do this? No. It's an opportunity to solidify your commitment to becoming a better person and being grateful for the opportunity to learn. So, I love you all. Have a great day. Oh, you've got something? Great. He's got something. Bye.